My name's Ron. Today I'm going to be covering a uh, trap code form fade in, fade out transition type of thing um, that I did in USF Confound not too long ago. Uh, I've been getting tons of questions on how to do this. So, um, with the release of our new channel, Artificial Anim, which is uh, our second channel here, um, as you can see, I haven't uploaded this video yet. <laughs> but um, basically, uh, if you can subscribe to this channel, I'd appreciate it. Uh, hopefully get some viewers here. It's basically just to teach, uh, you know, kind of get beginners into uh, into the After Effects world and um, teach them some stuff. So first of all, we want to download Trap Code Form if we don't already have it. So we want to go to Google and type in Trap Code Form. Okay, so when you're here, um, basically this is just if you don't have it, you want to just click Try, and um, you want to download it for your um, operating system and such. So uh, basically, if you uh, have that downloaded, I'm not going to download it, but um, yeah, you get the you get the picture. You want to download it and, and install it. It'll have a, a green or red X. I can't remember over it just to show that it's a demo. But uh, here's what we're going to be creating. Uh, it's basically just a fade on and then a breakaway. All done pretty smoothly. Okay, so first we're going to create a new composition. I use the HDV preset, uh, 29.97 frames per second. Seven seconds long, and okay. So I have this dazed PNG here, which is basically just his, uh, basically just dazed player bar. Um, not very interesting right now, it's just sitting there. It has some drop shadows, some shadows, and different layers, but not the point. Okay, uh, basically first we want to just make uh, this this comp here, comp1. Uh, we want to name this composition. I'll just name it dazed. And what we want to do is we want to basically uh, duplicate dazed two times. So now we have days, days 2, days 3. So days 2 I'm going to name alpha. You can hit enter or return on your keyboard and uh, name these, by the way. Okay, and type displacement. So now we have, oop, now we have uh, alpha, displacement, and dazed. Ignore this. Okay, so what we want to do now is we want to uh, create another composition. Same settings and drag dazed, displacement, and alpha into it. Okay, so basically, displacement and alpha are just layers going to be used by form, and uh, our dazed is actually what we're going to see for the um, the five seconds here. Or sorry, yeah. Um, so basically, we want to make a new solid now. So layer new solid, make comp size black or whatever color doesn't matter. Go to effect, trap code, form. Now, first we want to start off with base form. For the size X, X we want to have our um, width. So it's 1280. So for size X, I'm going to put 1280. And for size Y, which is our height, I'm going to put 720. So basically, you just want your composition height and width. So for size Z, I'm going to put 0 because we don't want any particles in Z. And uh, particles in X, 400. Particles in Y, 300. Particles in Z, 1. Now we can close down this. Go to particle and put the size to 2. Now we can go to fractal field. We want to put our flow Z to 50. And I've decided that 15 is a good F scale. F scale is just how much detail you, you'll see. So for mine, it's going to be 15. You need to play around with that later just to find what you want. So put this to XYZ individual. You can put down fractal field now. And now we're going to go in layer maps. For color and alpha, we want to put alpha. Now, just have to reopen that. Now, basically, we want to put the functionality to RGBA to RGBA and map over X and Y. Now we can see some particles beginning to take effect. For a displacement map, go to individual XYZ, map over X and Y, and for our Z space, which is back 
well basically it's Z space uh, we want to put our displacement so now we have some displacement already if we shut off these layers all of them we'll just have our particles uh, which makes it easier to see and basically at the first uh, first frame uh, set a keyframe for strength and go into fractal field and set a keyframe for X Y and Z displace so if we now hit U the letter U with the black solid highlighted I'm just going to name this form real quick uh, we have our keyframes here our four keyframes now what we're going to do is I'm going to put these values to something like something crazy that just spreads them you can hold on shift and drag to make it work faster okay seems to be a lot of noise today anyway um, that proves my point okay let's go to two seconds and here we want to put all these back to zero again and including strength so what we have now is we have this now it's very hard at the end so we want to highlight these keyframes and we want to hit F9 these make them easy ease so it smoothly comes on alright we basically want to repeat that from 6 to 8 so we want to go to 6 seconds want to make keyframes with these buttons here and then go to the end of our composition and put our strength to 50 and again just stretch these values out really it gives it some real depth right there so now what we have is it comes on and then sooner or later it goes off so what I want to do now is I want to hit I want to bring down these again and then hit T for opacity and I want to switch on my dazed layer which is not the particle one it's just the image itself and I want to press T on that as well first off I'm going to make uh, I'm going to hit our opacity t uh, stopwatch here and put that to zero go forward maybe one two three seconds um, by the way I'm using page up and page down for that and then put our opacity to 100 so our particles fade on and I'll just go to right about where they form dazed right there hit another keyframe and put our stopwatch on the opacity go forward three seconds put this to zero oops sorry put this to 100 put that to zero and go back to this keyframe here and put that to zero so now what we have is we have it fading on properly this time so it's not just particles it's the actual image and I want to repeat the process basically right where it goes off I need to see so I'm just going to put the opacity temporarily to 100 so I can see where it goes off okay right about there So we want the opacity of our form layer to be zero here. And so the keyframe here. Go forward three seconds, put this to a zero, put that to a hundred. So if we RAM preview now, surely enough we have a nice fade on and a nice fade off. One last thing to do, just go here and make another keyframe and put the opacity to zero okay so with that done there's one last thing we can do to make it look a lot nicer and that is hit on uh, take on our um, motion blur switch so on the form layer this is our motion blur and also the universal motion blur and what this does is enables motion blur uh, which just blurs it as it moves so it looks uh, I'd say a lot better makes it come to life a lot more than uh, it would without it so I hope you enjoyed that tutorial uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you liked it and uh, I'll bring more on the way sooner or later as soon as I get time really um, 
And yeah, uh, don't forget to visit our website, artificialanimation.net. Uh, if you have a question, PM me, leave a comment, uh, go to our forums, anything you want. Alright, so that's it for today.